Tom, if you could, before we get into the brokering plan, can you tell me a little bit of the history about WorthPoint? WorthPoint is a place where people can go to, find the value for literally anything that is collectible or in, in the antique field without going any other place. It's the one point on the web for you to go to for antiques and collectibles. Most people just don't have any idea where to sell something. Uh, you know, they'll look in the yellow pages under auctions or auction companies. Uh, that's, not, that's not the best scenario for them to, you know, to maximize the amount that they get for the item. We have the expertise to know which houses do the best with specific items and which houses do the best with specific artists or a specific regional furniture or stoneware or jewelry. You, you obviously have orthologists that are all over the United States. Do, do we go beyond the boundaries of this country and, and otherwise, how do you all communicate? We, we do. We, we're all over the United States right now uh, in every region and part of the country. Uh, we are expanding abroad as well because right now, uh, English-speaking countries, uh, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, are really primary factors in our site. We're getting thousands of visits a day from those countries. So it, it's very important to us to have the knowledge base in the different countries as well. Uh, it, it's going to be huge. And the beauty is that the internet can bring them all together. Absolutely. With, with the speed of the internet, it's, it's a 24-hour, 365-day-a-year process, and, and we can communicate with each other within a matter of seconds. And Tom, can you tell me specifically what do you do through the new brokering program? In, in the premier brokering process, uh, what we do is handle, we shepherd the item through the entire process from the, the person posting the question or ask a worthologist uh, telling them how to photograph the item, what type of photographs we need, submit those to the auction companies, get the replies back, establish their terms, uh, commission breaks, things like this that, that we can do to add value for the, for the member. Our, our big story is the lady in Boulder. What exactly did you do for her? Tammy posted her question free <laughs> on the site with the name of an artist. I, I answered her question saying that yes, the artist was a value and sold from $10,000 up and I put a couple of plus signs and, and she had kept this item in her closet for the past 10 years and found it in a dumpster. So through the process, uh, um, estimates came back from auction houses at, at forty to sixty thousand dollars. I did some further research and found out that the artist was best sold at Sotheby's. Uh, contacted them. They came back with an estimate of seventy to ninety thousand, which tickled Tammy, and she wanted to go with Sotheby's. Needless to say, um, the end result was. Seven months later, this painting that had been sitting in the closet for 10 years brought $103,000 in New York on a Friday afternoon. I have to tell you, this leaves me wondering, what do I have in the back of my own closet? You never know. In your closet, in the attic, or the basement, you just never know. There has to be a cost in this. I mean, there's just no such thing as a free lunch. That's right, as in everything. So we do charge a percentage to the member in the premier brokering plan, we have a contract agreement for the member that takes them through every phase of, of what we're doing, that explains the percentage that we charge, which is 5% of, of the gross selling price. Uh, it also explains that if the item doesn't sell, if they establish a reserve and it doesn't sell, that we don't charge them anything for the process as well. So it takes them from the beginning to the end. You mentioned the 5% that the actual seller would have to pay. So what is the cost? Through WorthPoint and a brokering plan, the other fees are derived from a commission that's received from the auction house, which is much like a brokering fee from 
a real estate agent. Do me a favor though, Tom, walk me through this process step by step. Send me detailed photographs. You can post those on the website right along with your question. That way other people get to enjoy the knowledge too. It, it's great to learn. Main thing are the photographs and a brief description along with the measurements. But any stories, if it came from someone prominent, if you have any type of documentation where it was left in a will to your great grandfather from this person, and this person turns out to have historical significance, you've added to the value of the piece by five, 10, 200, whatever percent. In your, in your words, what does worth point actually mean? It's the one point to go to to find the worth of your items. That's worth point.